We have been privy to something that, well, I guess you've been keeping under wraps for a little bit. We're, we're here with Julian first, we should say, who's now working on The Division. It, first of all, like, when did you start working on this game? I, I uh, started working about eight months ago, so it's fairly recent, mm. but um, it's, it's an incredible, incredible experience so far. Mm. And uh, we will we'll touch on that more, but but I think the big big news today and that the, that you're starting to sort of reveal and something that is a little bit I think unique for the division is the dark zone and the treatment of player versus player, player versus enemy, and how it mixes within. Because this is the zone where where this is the only place where you actually get into that sort of mixed Absolutely. experience. Yeah, uh, I mean we're incredibly happy to bring this dark zone experience and. It's not something that we've talked about a lot, but we've mentioned it in the past. What is it? It's this strip of land in Manhattan where basically all the laws of, of the rational world are off. This is the most scary, forbidding, and rewarding place in the entire game. What it is, is basically a PvP zone, but it's ambiguous. It's up to you to choose whether you want to do PvP or whether you want to team up with the agents that you're going to meet down there to take uh, out some, some other targets, maybe some cleaners uh, that we saw last year or some Rikers, which is a new faction that we're revealing this year. Mm. I think, I think that's, that's the beauty of it because it sort of seems like when you hear PvP zone, you sort of tend to think, oh, that's going to reward the absolute best, the skill, the Twitch players. But this sort of throws a little twist in there that those players are not going to, they're going to become targets if they go rogue, if they, if they try and take more than, than what their share is sort of thing. And that's, that's a very interesting twist. So you don't, you know, there's, there's uh, like a motivation for everyone to go in there because you don't know what you're going to get. Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself. It, it really is this prisoner's dilemma of risk and reward. You're going to go in there. The whole point of going in there is that the best loot in the game is in there. The best equipment, the best stuff is in there. So you're going to go in there, you're going to explore, you're going to find some equipment. This equipment's going to be contaminated. It's been in the most contaminated area in the whole of New York and probably in the whole of the world since the outbreak. So you find this equipment, you're going to take it, and the next objective is going to be to extract it. You're going to have a big yellow bag, which is a big uh, flag to other players saying, I've got some really juicy stuff in my, in my backpack. So you, you go to the extraction zone and anybody who sees you is going to say, oh, okay, have I got loot? I've got loot. Shall I team up? Shall I be friendly? Mm. And there'll be other enemies, NPCs. So in the demo we showed today, there were very high level cleaners that you have to team up to be able to take down. And then it's a question of, Okay, so maybe what he's got in his bag is worth me going rogue. Mm. And it's your choice to take him down or not. If you do go rogue, you are flagged to everybody else in the, in the world as a rogue agent. If you get killed as a rogue agent, that loot that you just stole, you're going to lose it. Mm. So imagine, I mean, today for, the, for the, this uh, event, we've only got a 20-minute demo. Mm. But imagine if you'd been playing for four hours you got four or five pieces of incredible loot and you decide to get a little bit too gray greedy bam are you going to risk that mm. is it is somebody going to shoot you for your equipment so that's the whole thing that we're building on mm. and, and will you sort of I, I suppose that there's this sort of progression inside the sort of this the center of this dark zone where you get better and better loot and where the, you, you know you have to risk more and more before you extract that's it. that it's, it's by level for the player so it, it's, it eases you into it and there's always stuff to explore stuff to, to extract maybe without having too too hard skirmishes um, so it, it's a well thought out piece of uh, piece of land within the middle of the game mm. So another thing that I that struck me when I sort of finally got my hands on on the game is that it's you you can be fooled into thinking that it's an action game, but it is it is very much a, a sort of an RPG experience. And 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 um, can you tell us a little bit how that sort of because it's something that that really changes how you play the game. It's it's there's a little bit more thinking there than just hitting the headshots. Yeah, I mean we set 
people up for the demo in teams of three. Mm. And each of these teams of three had equipment that created their specialty. So we don't have roles, we don't have types uh, of player, but we do have equipment that can be customized and chosen to be exactly suited to your play style and to your teammates' play style to encourage these synergies. So mm. the roles that we saw today, you had the medic, you had the, the close-up damage guy, and you had uh, the sniper, for example. And just watching the synergies b between those three players, that, that's, that's kind of exciting. So it is an RPG. There's a lot of equipment. There, there are upgrades for all of this equipment. Your skills were incredibly useful as well. So we had the pulse, uh, the sticky bomb, mm. the uh, seeker mine. We had a bunch of different skills that are complementary too. So everything is really well wrapped up. So uh, I guess I played as the, as the sniper okay. uh, build then. Uh, is, is that sort of the range of sniping that you're, you're looking for? It's not, not the most extreme. It's pretty, pretty close. Yeah. So you're sticking with your group. Again, the game isn't finished. Mm. And, you know, the, the, the sniper and the zoom that you have on the sniper, that's still things that we're going to be working out on the way uh, uh, in the months to launch. Mm. But I guess it also kind of makes sense that you want to stick with the group, sort of. You don't want to have someone hanging back Absolutely. way back it can't be stupid zoom mm. but uh the current zoom is is fairly timid mm. all right so uh what 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 is it what would you say is the is the thing that that excites you coming on late on this project what is it that excites you most about it ah it's a tricky question um for me it, the team is incredible so I, i'm a guy who likes to work with teams and i see projects as uh, opportunities to work with different talents to learn to grow so it's a very personal answer I'm sorry it's a it's it, it's not as simple as saying the dark zone uh, so for me it's a professional challenge but it's also such an incredibly detailed and beautiful world I mean you played it on Xbox mm. one today it looks phenomenal so making that environment making that location compelling and giving you reasons to explore and not just do the action game, shooty, shooty uh, stuff. I love doing that. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye.